Welcome back to Dinar Guru. I'm Sophia, your host for today. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe, like, and comment on our video. Today, we're diving into a hot topic, the recent developments between the Central Bank of Iraq, the Federal Reserve, and the U.S. Treasury. If you've been following the headlines, you might be feeling a bit alarmed, with news suggesting that things aren't looking great for Iraq. But before you hit the panic button, let me assure you that this could actually be very good news for us investors. We're also going to tackle the buzz around the resignation of Central Bank Governor Al Alak. So, let's dig into the details and see what's really going on behind the headlines. Stay tuned. Welcome to Dinar Guru. Recent headlines regarding Iraq's financial situation may paint a troubling picture, leading many investors to worry about the future of their investments. Speculations about the resignation of the central bank governor, the perceived failures in financial management, and the involvement of the U.S. Treasury can certainly stir anxiety. However, a closer examination of these developments reveals that the current news might actually be beneficial for investors, particularly those with an interest in Iraq's currency reform process. This article will dissect the intricate relationship between Iraq's central bank, the Federal Reserve, and the U.S. Treasury providing insight into how these interactions impact the ongoing currency reform and what they mean for investors. The Central Bank of Iraq and its current challenges Recent developments The Central Bank of Iraq has been a focal point of both domestic and international attention, particularly regarding its role in managing the country's financial stability and currency reforms. Recent reports suggest a potential resignation of the CBI governor, which has fueled speculation about the stability of Iraq's financial system. Central Bank Governor's Resignation, a cause for concern? The rumors about the resignation of the Central Bank Governor, Ali al-Alak, have sparked concerns among investors. Some view this potential move as an admission of failure or an attempt to escape the repercussions of ongoing financial crises. However, it's crucial to consider the context in which these developments are occurring. al Alak has been instrumental in maintaining financial stability in Iraq, even amid significant economic challenges. His tenure has seen several reforms aimed at stabilizing and improving the country's financial system. If he were to resign, it would not necessarily indicate a failure in his management but could be part of a broader strategy to advance currency reforms and address specific financial issues. The Role of the U.S. Treasury and the Federal Reserve U.S. Treasury's involvement The U.S. Treasury has played a critical role in Iraq's currency reform process. Recent actions by the Treasury are aimed at facilitating the next steps in the currency reform process, addressing issues that have arisen, and supporting Iraq in achieving its financial goals. While the headlines might suggest a negative turn of events, the reality is that these actions are designed to create a more stable and conducive environment for economic reforms. The Federal Reserve's influence The Federal Reserve, as the central bank of the United States, also has an indirect impact on Iraq's financial system. Its policies and decisions can affect global financial markets, including those in Iraq. The current situation, including the drying up of dollar auctions, has led to increased scrutiny and speculation about the future of Iraq's financial stability. Currency reform and its implications progress and challenges Iraq's currency reform process has been a complex and ongoing effort. The recent actions by the U.S. Treasury are part of a broader strategy to address issues and advance the currency reform agenda. While the current headlines may seem alarming, they are indicative of the efforts being made to resolve existing problems and move forward with reforms. Impact on investors For investors, these developments can actually be a positive sign. The involvement of the U.S. Treasury and the Federal Reserve, coupled with the ongoing efforts to address financial issues, suggests that significant steps are being taken to stabilize and improve Iraq's financial system. This, in turn, can create a more favorable environment for investments, particularly in the context of currency reform. Analyzing the speculative nature of recent headlines hit pieces and misinterpretations the media landscape can often be rife with speculation and sensationalism. The current headlines about the central bank governor's resignation and the financial situation in Iraq might be seen as hit pieces, designed to provoke concern and uncertainty. It's essential to approach these headlines with a critical eye and consider the broader context. 
The real story behind the headlines while the headlines might suggest a crisis or failure, the reality is that these developments are part of an ongoing process to address and resolve financial issues. The resignation of a key figure like the central bank governor could be a strategic move to facilitate further reforms and improvements in the financial system. In summary, the current headlines about Iraq's financial situation and the potential resignation of the central bank governor might seem alarming at first glance. However, a deeper analysis reveals that these developments are part of a broader strategy to address financial issues and advance the currency reform process. For investors, this can be seen as a positive sign, indicating that significant efforts are being made to stabilize and improve Iraq's financial system. As always, it's essential to stay informed and consider the broader context when interpreting news and making investment decisions. In the end I will request my friends who are watching me let's be positive and patient because patience is the key to success. Please subscribe my channel and support me you guys have a great day. Thank you.